This is where Uwe Marx developed his ideas, in an old factory building in Berlin. He's trying to use artificial organs instead of animals for research. The idea is old, but Marx is the first to have implemented it. His motivation? Animal protection. We believe, and so do American researchers, that if the principle basically works, a large portion of present-day animal testing can be replaced. How much? 70, 80 percent. Marx has been working for seven years on a viable alternative to animal testing, microchips cultured with cells to mimic organ structure and function. I've worked a lot with animals myself, and in cases when it's been clear that it's basically useless, where there are clear alternatives, it's absolutely necessary to introduce them right away. Biotechnologist Ilka Wagner has been working on implementing the idea of artificial mini-organs. This is our multi-organ chip. That is, it's a small bioreactor in which we can combine four different organs. In this case, the skin, the liver, the intestines and the kidneys. The scientists link the organs with a circulatory system. In that way, they can observe the exchange of substances between liver and kidney, for instance. That's never been done before. Here we see how the blood is pumped through the chip and connects the two organs with each other. And here you can see that these three chambers are in principle our heart chambers, pumping the blood in and out again. The scientists have now managed to create such a flow between four organs. At first, skeptics thought it was impossible. They just laughed and said it would never work. Then I privately invited six to eight professors from all over Germany and discussed it with them in two or three sessions, taking a scientific approach. They were the first ones who didn't laugh. They said they'd think seriously about it. And then it was clear it can work. These days, the team also works for the pharmaceuticals industry, testing skin creams and medications. The cells on their chips stay alive for four weeks. This is where our tiny liver lives, in our chip. Here it's already been treated with a substance that's toxic to the liver and the liver cells are dying off. We can see that by the way the cells form these large black clumps. And the flow of blood, our pulsating fluid, is moving large aggregations of cells freely. So the organ structure is in serious trouble. After 14 days, the evaluation shows the drug hasn't passed the test. It would be harmful to humans. All the green cells you see here are dead cells. That means they've reacted to our drug and have died. Marx wants to recreate the metabolism of the human body as completely as possible. By 2018, he wants to create a chip with the 10 most important organs of the human body. It would replace not only animal testing, but also long-term studies on humans. On the chip, scientists could see not just how the organs react one after another to an active substance, they could also create tailor-made chips for individual people. They donate a cell and we make the various organs using our technologies. Then it's their reaction, the way you or I react to something. Marx imagines that in the far future, huge automated testing factories could exist. But even now, the research team expects the chip to trigger fundamental changes. We believe that we'll be raising the pharmaceutical development sector to a completely new level and make medication much more available to everyone, more convenient, more affordable and more efficient than today. But Marx doesn't want to take his company to the US or China. He says the scientific environment in Germany is simply too good. That's why he's already turned down lucrative offers. He wants to produce the organ chips in Berlin. His credo, animal protection should start in Germany.